two years. Maggie! Hey, girls! Did you have the yogurt yet? <laughs> Imitation sour cream. I'm sorry. Oh, that's all right. Oh, where did you get this boat? Is this I something? I don't believe this car. No. God, doesn't it hum, huh? It's like an ark. Yeah, well... Oh, oh you're wonderful. Yeah. Thing. <laughs> this is so wonderful of Bob letting his girls use the house for the weekend. Yeah, well, we haven't spent a weekend together in Give 15 something. years. Why well, start now? Oh, well, listen, would you... Can you take this? All right. God, you've got food for an army. you got seven people. I thought we were only five. Uh, my sister's bringing a friend. Oh, who's the seventh? I invited Hannah. You what? It was a good idea. It's Trust a good me. idea. Maggie! Yeah, I know. 10.01 in the morning, I was the most beautiful baby that was ever born. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you saw the show? What'd you think? Well, yeah, I know you didn't like the movie, but it had certain things about it. What do you mean? I thought my hair was fine. It covered my face. Mom, you know, they have hair and makeup people who do that for me. Take this. I've got it. I've got it. I've got it. Natalie could be here in 10 minutes. Is this good? Where's her sister? We'll Ooh. pile them up over there. I don't know. She's going to walk in. She's going to walk in right where Natalie's off off here. Okay. Does Natalie, Natalie know Hannah's coming? No, oh, it's a surprise party. party. Here, Hannah's Hats coming. Put these hats on. Then you Boy. put that on and just relax. You have perfect taste, but not in hats. <laughs> talking about this my doctors are younger than I am <laughs> you know, everybody at school is younger than I am I'm practically everybody but don't you feel the same inside though exactly yeah, the same but, like uh, a girl I but I look like in the mirror girl. and it doesn't see I don't look in the mirror yeah I gave that up <sighs> I'm glad to be older yeah I gotta go upstairs and sign this <clears throat> oh Bob's duck is watching us I gotta oh. get rid of that here we go <laughs> Bob's duck. Remember this from shop class? His mallard, Bob's mallard. His lucky duck. Hello? Jerry. How's she doing? Mm-hmm. Yes, she is. Yes, she should be in preschool. I would put her in preschool if you would send me a goddamn check! I don't know if I don't have too hard a time acclimating myself to these people. It's been a while since I was around white women. No, I know, I know. Oh, here we are. Perfect house, perfect yard. You're oh gonna be fine. God. We can't smoke in the house, can we? No. Bury your cigarette deep down so she'll never find it. Damn. Okay. Ready? Don't you go. And of course we're late, so that's already a strike against us. Oh, Jesus. Bring your boombox in the house, please. Shut up, heart attack. I'm trying to choose a wallpaper. Look at that blue one on the left. Do you like that for the small bedroom that's, upstairs? That's you think that's lovely. too formal? Yeah. Hi! Hi. 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 You brought Buddy. Yes. Is he house trained yet? <laughs> He's house trained. <laughs> sort of. This is uh, Anne, my friend Anne. This I is my sister. I didn't know you were going to be able to come. Oh, thanks. Great. Um, I need to. I need to talk to you. Just Honey, like the two of us. Lizard. Be... I know, but at How some point. Doing? Hi. What have you got there? Listen, if I had a date for my birthday, I wouldn't be going to Val's. I promise tomorrow night I'll be there. I, I'm not depressed. You're making me depressed that it's my 40th birthday. My God, I'm only 40. Well, I hope I have a couple of good years left. Well, the vertical space. Well, this is the carpeting is very small. love what we do with you. Oh, my God, she's here. She's what? here. She's here. She's here. She's here. Twice. 
It is kind of rough. Oh, this what is gorgeous. Isn't I can't nice? believe it. I can't believe this is that hole in the ground. I know. Oh, look, so the, cool. we got the hot tub out here. We sort of projected it. Yes, we want to get right in it. I want to get these shoes off. Oh, this is wonderful. <laughs> Let me sit down. Let me take your, uh, what a trip. Go on in and, oh. <laughs> Oh, I'm so glad. We'll stay back. Can we wear that hat on your show? Yeah. Please. And will you mention us all by Ask name? You've never done that. Yeah, she's never you promised. Right. In my next <laughs> review, I'll mention you all by name. <laughs> How are the boys? Oh, wonderful. The boys are great. Yeah. How's Bob? I don't know. I think he seems fine. He's, you know, he's good. I thought three minutes ago we had a discussion saying we were going to oh, ignore these birthdays. Nice quiet weekend. Yeah. Why don't you something? make a make make a toast? Mm -hmm. Me first. Okay. <clears throat> I'm very happy to have this house be christened by this event because it's a beautiful house. It just needed some love, and I have all the people that I love so much here to uh, pay tribute to uh, our dear friend who's. 35 tomorrow. <laughs> again! <laughs> and loving it again. Yeah. Yeah. Well I just want to say to you guys that uh, I didn't expect you to be here. <laughs> but I'm really glad you are. This is, after all, a milestone. I will continue to lie about my age, but nonetheless, we all know that it is a milestone. And I think you should say now that you're in your 50s. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone say you look so young. Male stripper? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Anyway, Excuse me. let's uh, meet her, guys. Hi. Hi. Sorry I'm late. It's okay. We're toasting. Um, hey. Come on in. Hi, Mad. Have my uh, champagne hand. Let me Thank take yours. You. Happy birthday. Come on in and sit down. Hi, Hi, Hannah. Hannah. Hi, Anne. Nice to meet you. Hannah. Nice Hannah. Sit down. Hannah, you're going to get in there. Officially, the, the big coral. Don't say the F word. Oh, 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 oh. It's so good to see you. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to go change. Yeah. You look great. You look like I'm done in this dress. I'm going to put on some pants or something. Do you want me to? Yeah. I'll help you take your suitcase upstairs. Come on, you go, guys. Goodbye, buddy. Say goodbye. What an entrance. No, 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 it's good, it's good. Um, Hannah is married to Nat's ex-husband. Ah, okay. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get these shoes off. Mm. These are these really cool colors and stuff. You never know what kind of makeup to buy. Well, you have such a pretty face, it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, How's your job? How's the ad agency? You still like it? Yeah, I like it. We're doing um, we're doing a new kind of corn chip that's being tested in Denver. Oh, how exciting! Did you get to write in the uh, copy for it? Well, I sort of helped on it. Yeah, what I came up with the word crunchy. <laughs> oh, how original, Liz! Crispy, ah. crackly crackers. Mmm, makes me want to eat them. Those wonderful CR words. Christ! Oh, here's a dress for you. <gasps> My sexual woman killer dress. <laughs> Perfect. I've been waiting for it. Try it on. Really? Come on. Jesus. It looked great on you. I never wear You're it. You're telling me that you fill this out naturally? Well, maybe with a little help. I wish I could write something like, like you write. I wish I had a job, kind of like, like you do, where you get to say something, you know, intelligent about like the culture and the way women are portrayed in it and <clears throat> anything, but not snacks. Intelligent? I write about movies with men and hardware. And the powers that be complain because they say every time I review a movie, I gripe about the fact that there aren't enough good roles for women. Right. Well, there aren't, right? There aren't. <sighs> this is not so bad. It's gorgeous! <laughs> so, oh, very nice. nice. Very nice. Yeah, you might need a little something up top. What do you think? Wait, I'm gonna have something. Here. Don't let them antagonize you. You know, <laughs> we need to have like a strong woman's voice out there saying, 
this is the kind of movie you should make, and this is the kind of woman that's like a real woman. That kind of thing. Here, real woman, stuff these in your tits. <laughs> this is what real women do. Do they really? This is good. Actually, this is a really good color for you. I want your job. I give it two tits up. I actually give it four. <laughs> oh, God, you don't want my job. Actually, it's not my job anymore. Why not? Uh, evidently, they're not renewing my contract. Don't tell anybody. I won't. Why aren't they renewing your contract? Is it something that you say? Maybe because I'm turning 40? I don't know, they hired some 26-year-old kid off MTV. I don't know, they say they've been doing research and uh, I'm losing my popularity. That show sucks, man. You don't want that fucking job. Really, you know? Yeah, you don't want that job. There's better things out there for you. Nobody watches that show anyway. Oh, thanks a lot, I thought I had a following. What are you doing? I'm cleaning his teeth. It doesn't hurt him? No, this is what I do. I breed animals. They have to have clean teeth, you know. They won't, like, date. Why didn't you talk to your sister yet? Oh, There's so many fucking people around in this yeah. house. That's the problem. She doesn't seem very uh, accessible in that area anyway. It's a little chilly. I don't think she likes me very much. I don't think she likes her at all. <laughs> yeah, I guess not. And why do you think that? I think, I think you're sort of threatening to her. A younger woman. Mm. You know, they're all worried about their husbands. They're all worried about their love lives. They're all worried about how they look. Yeah. I just feel really irritated by the fact that age is always such a major factor in this, you know. I mean, I get around a bunch of women, you know, I would think that be a more supportive atmosphere, you know? I really, really want to get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you already want to go, huh? But yeah, I mean, it's like, you know, I'm a little bratty sister, and you're, I don't know what you are. I don't know what Hannah is. I don't know how Hannah fits in now. She has to marry someone's husband. That sort of, like, breaks the mold, you well, know? Well, yeah. She's a little cutesy for me. Huh? I know. She does. <laughs> <laughs> When you see, <laughs> you see that little clip she had in her hair, and like little cats on it and stuff. Yeah, it's, no. yeah, it's pretty cute. Uh, it's pretty cute. It's just unbelievable to me that she was my best friend for such a long time. I don't. Yeah. She's just exactly like Val. Exactly. Really? I feel like I was. I know I was adopted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's a little. Here you are. Hi. Hi. I've been looking for you guys. Hi. Hi. How you doing? Good, how are you? Came outside to smoke. Uh, well, I appreciate that. I'm very highly allergic. I know, so. But you shouldn't do it. <laughs> so how do you like Colorado? I like it, mm -hmm. very much. Mm -hmm. You taking some pictures outside of some of our I don't, scenery? I haven't taken any stills yet. I've just been using that little eight millimeter thing I just got. It's really fun. Mm -hmm. it does, does it irritate you at all? No. Good, okay. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm being watched, but that's okay. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, nice little posterity reference material. Yeah, it's great. Well, I just want to tell you that I have a couple of minutes if you want to talk. You said you had something. To I have to go inside anyway, because I have to shower and stuff. It would be disgusting. Well, I hate to chase you out. <laughs> You're not, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> She seems very nice. Yeah, she's my best friend in the entire world. <laughs> she's my closest friend. Great. 
I'm glad you have somebody to talk to. <laughs> so, what did you want to talk about? Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes, um... It's really hard to talk to you. <laughs> I did have something to tell you, but which is that mom would really love you to call her. You know, like 10 minutes, a phone conversation, and she'd be flying for a week. You know. Okay. Yep. So you don't have anything to tell me? <clears throat> it's not really that big a deal. It's just sort of, um, what's the matter? Um, something that Natalie was talking to me about upstairs. That she, um, that she lost her job. She told me upstairs. And, and no one's supposed to know at, you know. I can't believe she didn't tell me. Yeah. Well, maybe she felt like she couldn't, she didn't want you to be disappointed in her or something. We have a very close relationship. She knows that I... But I'm surprised she didn't tell me. That's it. Okay. I'm gonna smoke another cigarette. Hmm? I'm gonna smoke another cigarette. <laughs> well, I'm out of here. <laughs> okay, thank you. So Jake takes this learning disabled kid and he gets this kid up on the podium. He has no idea what the kid's gonna say. And the kid says, for the first time in my life, I don't feel like a second class citizen. Oh my God. Unbelievable. This man is unbelievable. unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. Must be Jake. Jake, you know. Jake as yeah. in Jacob? And Jacob Bernstein. So anyway, at graduation, he says, um, the seniors are all up there, and these kids, I mean, these are kids with no options at all, you know, before he came. I mean, none at all. Suddenly, they're kids with jobs to go to or college. I mean, he's completely turned their lives around. Why don't you come over here and help us, would you? Oh, yeah, right. You know how good I am in the kitchen. Come on, we used to make incredible peanut butter and marshmallow sandwiches together, the three of us. The least you can do is help us chop Look, the cucumbers. I'm not going to turn domestic. Right before my 40th You can do birthday, cucumbers, okay? honey. How's your I boss, know you Natalie? can. Natalie, still an asshole? <sighs> still an asshole. Really? Mm -hmm. I think he thinks I'm getting a little too long in the tooth to be in the public eye. Mm -hmm. Jesus. You look pretty good to me, kiddo. Go get those cucumbers, will you? Right that right over there? You oh, desperately there. need you. Chop? Yeah. Is that good? Do you like them like this big? Oh, no, no, no. Don't chop the garlic. Smash, Smash it. it. Excuse me. <laughs> nice Davidism today. Mm. Still giving orders in the kitchen, is he? Certainly is. Still controlling, is he? Certainly is. How's his writing? It's okay. Actually, I, I feel pretty shut out. Just gonna see how everybody's doing. So how are you, kid? Right now I have a headache. <sighs> okay. Not great. I'm trying to get us into therapy. 
<laughs> Get David into therapy? Oh, good luck. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well. Yeah. It's really angry, Ned. Hannah, David has been angry since before I met him. Did you ever get my letter? <clears throat> yeah. I got your letter. Why didn't you answer me? I don't know. I don't know what to say. You know, I, I, I'm not in love with David. But it's weird. It's been really hard. It's been really hard between us. He's not an easy guy. <laughs> I just wish I had some way to, like, answer back to him, you know? It's... I feel like I'm getting run over, and I just... I need some caustic witticisms to kind of zing. <laughs> I can't, like, get it out to him. Yeah. God, how do you do it? I didn't do it, honey. If I'd done it, we'd still be together. Okay. And I warned you. I warned you, if you didn't know who the hell you were, that you would wind up like the incredible shrinking woman. <laughs> you know, I mean... <sighs> Here is a man who... told me daily that what I was doing was not art, because I was criticizing art, and what I was doing was creating a wall between the public and art instead of building a bridge between the public and art. Until I wound up feeling like one of those fertility statues with a hole in my center. And I didn't want to see that happen to you. I want our friendship back. I'm, I'm, I want our friendship back. I miss you. I miss those camping trips we used to take. I remember when you and me and Val used to all sing around the campfire. opening a show next week. I'm so glad. David's not thrilled with the kind of artwork I'm into right now. David wouldn't be thrilled no matter what you do. <gasps> He's a monster. He's just scared. He's not a bad guy, Hannah. I spent five years looking at him. Trying not to say, I'm sorry, it's my fault, it's my fault, we're not having babies. And he spent five years trying to say, no, it's my fault, it's my fault, we're not having babies. I didn't know. He's got, he's got problems, but he's not a bad guy. If you can love him, love him. But don't lose you. How's your loft? It's good. Yeah. It's very bright. <laughs> <laughs> I love your work. 
I remember when you were 15 and you were painting and you were coming to me and saying, what do you think? And I thought, she's got it. Don't bury it. Don't let him bury it. This is a golden child. This is a real thing. I shouldn't have come. Why not? Oh, thou biting Hannah. Why, what do you? Why are you so uncomfortable with Nat and Hannah? You know they're friends. Nothing is right. I don't like people anymore. You don't like people. It's true. Oh, this Grace, is so sad. Oh, come on. Do me a favor and be really nice to Nat this weekend. What does that mean? Well, it means that. I don't know if I should tell you, but Val told me that Nat lost her job. What? I don't know. I don't know what happened. I think someone else took her place. A little politics. Whatever it is. What? Well, what is this because she's taking a stand on something? Oh. No, ah. no, what is it? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Ah. Oh, damn it. That is so classic, is it not? It's what happened. And I think if we can just give her some kind of support during this period for her birth. But listen, you're not supposed to tell anything. She asked me, please, please. I swear, I don't know. It. Yeah. <laughs> this is a miracle. This is a moment of beauty tonight. This kind of harmony, this kind of friendship. This is a miracle. So I keep hearing all of these strange intimations. <laughs> it must be some sort of religious you. She's figure. a modern mystic. She's Not. a sex therapist, actually. <laughs> <laughs> what is it that you do? I'm a nun. Really? Yes, I am. I'm a You're sitting of... here with a nun. What kind of a... An order is this? I'm <laughs> confused. I don't understand. No, I'm I'm a member of a of a Catholic order. What about sex? What about Come on, sex? That's what she's really trying to ask. You want to know? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I have sex. I have sex. No, I have sex with God. I do. <laughs> oh please. No, I no. He touches my nipples and they go away. <laughs> and I feel the weight of him. I feel whole, <laughs> and he slides down into my uterus, <laughs> into my body. <laughs> Are you serious? Your uterus contracts? Yeah. Does that it's ever happen complete. to you? <laughs> <laughs> Not with God. Did you no. think that you don't have sex with God? I, that's what I always assumed, oh, that if you're a nun, you're, you're just, you're just, you're chaste. Oh, no, you're like... I, I am, I go and I go into privacy and I prepare for my lover. I'm having sex with God. Really? Maggie, do you have an orgasm? I'm asking you flat out. Do you have an orgasm when you're fantasizing about God fucking you? <laughs> I mean, is this... Nail it, Hannah, nail it. <laughs> Later on tonight, listen, by my door. Are you moaning? Yes, I do. <laughs> We're allowed to talk to Maggie like this, and because she has a very colorful past. Yeah. And we well, she doesn't get it. Well, you know, I think with God, I think you feel this great union and balance of your female and male. This is truth. You think we can have that he, with mortal men? He probably or doesn't roll over and leave in the morning either, mm. does he? Do you have his number? <laughs> You know, you're oh. good, but you don't get it. <laughs> God! <laughs> I don't get it, Maggie. I really don't get Why it. Why not? I just can't get my brain around this. You you actually have an orgasm with God, Maggie? <laughs> yes, I do. Through my body, through my guts, through my heart, through my head. Probably with men, a lot of us can't 
because of our experience with men, a lot of us can't relate to what you're talking about because it is such a physical um, experience. So, <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. But, um, but I'm wondering, has anyone here ever made love with a woman? Ooh, a deathly silence falls on the room. <laughs> I have. Yeah? You have. And how was it? Was it, you know, did you, was it, do you think it had an effect on the rest of your life or was it something you'd rather forget about? It's not something I'd rather forget about, but, and I think it's had an effect on the rest of my life. In a positive way? Definitely positive. Were you a young, young girl and... Um, I was in my early 20s. Was it, was it a long-term long thing? thing or was, was it like, was it... It was more than once, but not a long term. But it was just a, like a sort of a phase that came and went. Well, my feeling is, is that we're all bisexual, anyway. Well, you were not happy. Happy. Was happy sexually in this room. Was it just a... Are you happy? Happy? I am, I am. Well, well how can you miss happy. with God? I mean, it's yeah. always got to be uh, <laughs> miraculous in some way. <laughs> it's got to be a spiritual experience. Is God uh, ever impotent? God is always erect. You guys must have at least 600 million brides, though, right? Uh, He's busy. He must have He's busy. busy. He's God. Nobody said he was faithful. <laughs> oh, God. How does everybody feel about cheating? What? Excuse me? On Bob? Go for it. It depends on who I was cheating with. You are with. so transparent. <laughs> Jake. Who's Jake? Never mind. Jake. Oh, he's the new principal of that school. Oh, sure. She's <gasps> very involved with uh, her school. He's Morgan. a wonderful man who um, is really turning the whole school around and opening everybody up. Look at and, her. Her eyes are on the ceiling. This and, is like, who else is he over there? And he's hung like a yak. <laughs> He's a very good principal and he's a wonderful person. No, 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 Seven women in this house, and we all have our period. <sighs> oh, this wow. is beautiful. Wow. Here you go, my darling. Oh, don't make me eat that. Oh, yes, the whole thing, the Crisco oh, and sugar. Sugar. Uh, sugar. Uh, you got to put anything to do with the actual cake? It's really good. Yeah. It looks wonderful, Bill, and I know you whipped it up with your own little hands. You made a spaghetti sauce. <laughs> we made a heck of a spaghetti oh, sauce last night. Didn't you think it was pretty bad? Good. We had spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get to open my presents? Yes. yes. All right. First present. Very enthusiastic. Nat. Nat's mine. Is yours? It's your day, my best friend. Thanks, Belle. Okay. Very crumbly cake. Oh, 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 my God. Oh. What is that? It's a necklace. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Is that when you die? <laughs> yeah. You want everything when I die. Do you know something yeah, about my health? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay, what's next? This one? This is this. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my Thank you. Oh, oh, Hannah! Wow. That is beautiful. Oh, nice. That's amazing. No, no, no. Which what one? is it? Turn it 
this way. The other way? Well, Tana, which, I've which... been painting my dreams lately, and actually, um, that particular dream was my mother lying face down in a pool, and three oh. men were trying to kill her. And um, the, the colors on the bottom left-hand corner are the balloons, because we were up at a summer camp, and there was this very green, um, festive feeling, even though she was in a tremendous amount of pain. Oh, how sweet. How Thanks for sharing that with me. Maybe if you hadn't told us what it meant. It's a great gift. Hey, it's what a on earth are you? I cannot believe this. What's Making the problem that you have, Raisa? You can't see, have, Raisa. You can't see that this is you? This oh, is you no. that she's painted. No, and Where? she has the nerve to... Raisa, stop it. I can't it. believe stop it. it. Stop it. it. The idea that you would Raisa, come here, what is this? No I think that you can put some giant band-aid on this. Oh, come You're on, You're gonna Raisa. show up come in her on. life and each time she's gonna it. bleed a little bit? It's my birthday it's party. Every person has a finite amount of blood. I'm sorry you don't marry. The ex-husband oh, of your oh, best stop friend. Stop it, stop and expect it, it to stop work it. out. Oh. To have your guys taken. Oh, take it. Oh, it. Come on. Calm down. Stop it. Okay? Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh, oh God. Sweetie. I feel so bad for you. Don't, Don't feel, feel bad for me. I'm fine. She'll be back. I'm fine, okay? <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. We're okay, okay? No, We're okay. I live every day with nature. I swear to God, the brutality of nature is nothing compared to this. Look, what happened to you was shitty. It was really shitty, and you have a right to be angry. But this is something else. This is something else between me and Hannah. Jerry, Jerry was a shit. He was a shit, he was and a what shit, he did was shitty. And I'm sorry he broke your heart. You're sorry. Oh, God. Look, we drank too much last night, okay? Everybody's been a little I think we should shaky. be drinking this morning. I think we yeah, should be drinking this morning. Maybe we should wine. Have, I'll go get a have bottle a bloody of wine or that? something. I like wine. Mmm, <laughs> so. a nice bottle of red. <laughs> God, Very much dog, okay? <laughs> Do you want some? Max? You okay? It's just a, an unbelievably memorable birthday. <laughs> uh, one that I certainly know. Aren't you all glad I brought Anne? Anne. Isn't Anne great? Oh my God! Anne. Don't make Anne. me drink Anne. Anne. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> mm. I'm impressed. Hey, I've got another present. present. Oh. Ah! Oh, God. What, what, what? Oh, God. What? Oh, God. God. It is amazing. <laughs> it's alive, isn't it? That is great. I don't think I can take it. Oh, it's so sweet. Oh, it's great. It's digging its little fork tongue out. You can wear it around your neck, just like, oh, just like no. all of us. Oh, I wish myself. Son of a gun. Wow. I've met a few snakes in my life, but... Yeah. What are you going to name him? Really what what does it eat? It eats mice. <laughs> mice? Live mice. But it's not bloody. They swallow them whole. <laughs> oh, Ray, what am I supposed to do with him? Can I tell you something? Mm -hmm. I hate snakes. I don't want to hurt your feelings, but I, I kind of don't... I don't know what to do with it. Don't be hurt. <laughs> That's all right. She's honest, and she? Not? I mean, this is as inappropriate as it gets for Natalie. I think we should distribute this honesty, and I think everyone at this oh, table oh, should know. Oh. This woman lost her job this week. How did you know that? I don't think it's time to discuss how inappropriate this present is. I don't have a lot of money, Val. Wait a minute. How do you know that? Lizzie, I told you that in secrecy. How does she know? I didn't tell her. Well, then how does she know? Because I told my wonderful, trustworthy older sister, Val. Oh, great. So everybody here knows? Great. I lost my job, OK? I can't have a fucking cigarette. Natalie, doesn't matter. I broke your fucking dunk.
You're my friend and I love you, but you've gone too far. Unforgiving woman. So sorry. It's not your fault. Oh, no, but I mean, it's it's awful when every secret told, you know, becomes a betrayal. I'm so, I'm really. I'm... Hope you like the underwear. <laughs> I got you. I hope I have a chance to wear it. I hope you do too. Actually, the snake's a pretty good present too. You know, they say when a snake sheds its skin, it becomes very irritable. Like. It's not the damn snake. I mean, it's just that sometimes you'd like to be able to handle something alone, you know? You don't always want to share everything with everybody. I know. A little solitude. Well, I'm gonna give you some solitude, okay? I love you. Happy birthday. Thanks, sister. Love you, baby. This is not a present for her. And everything you said before is not her. It's you. This is a problem of yours. It is. I mean, this is she. You're looking at her. You're not seeing her. You're seeing you. You know. You know that phrase, "get a life." <laughs> that was invented for you. We really weren't talking about me. You're putting yourself in her place all the time. You do that all the time. You do that with everybody. Val, you've decided I. Uh, Val, she does not do that with everybody. She just does it with me. Her. She's decided I don't have a life because I don't do what she does because I don't have the sensibility she does. She doesn't know who I am. Val, you never even you wouldn't express an emotion like like she's expressed today for anything in the world. She just let me finish. No, I'm here. It's I'll just a bunch it. of bullshit, you know. You just want it to be a lovely, sweet, wonderful party. Well, it's not. Big deal. Just because I don't bleed all over everybody everywhere I go doesn't mean I don't have feelings, okay? At least someone's being honest about something, you know. Telephone rang for you. It's Jerry. He's on the phone. He wants to know what to do with your daughter. Okay. Let's see how you handle truth now. Duck, he'll never forgive me. Yeah, it is too bad about the duck. <laughs> Couple of it's words. Bob's duck. It means everything to him. <laughs> fuck the duck. Thank God it broke. Fuck Bob. Yeah, fuck Bob. <laughs> I don't know Bob. No thanks. I can just sort of <laughs> presume. <laughs> Bob's lost his hair and everything else. Really? <laughs> oh. Good looking guy. Best looking guy around, wasn't he, Ned? Bob? Yeah, I think yeah, it's sort of a Liz, prerequisite was... in life that if your name is Bob at a certain point, you just have to lose, lose all your hair. hair. <laughs> we it's all part of life, Bob. you know? We all knew Bob. Uh, it's part of being a Bob. Bob. We all did know Bob. You know him in his prime, honey. He's been downhill ever since. Those were his best years, those high school years. He was our class president. Oh, God. <laughs> Golden boy. And Al snagged him. I was so jealous of you. Do you know that? I had a crush on Well, Bob. you know what? You got a better guy. <laughs> oh, his birthday present. Hannah's painting. Oh, you got that in there? Yep. Oh, I left the snake for Reza. No, I don't. Don't touch me. Air kiss. Thank you. Mm. I wanted this to be so great for you. I know. I actually decided this morning that you should move back. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh. You know, we oh. could spend weekends up here, I think. Oh, know. God, Val, This would be know. a really nice thing. Yeah, but if I move back, I have to see my mother all the time. We won't tell her. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where she went. She left Chicago. Oh, I don't know. You need a sandwich or something? I can make you a little shrimp sandwich. Val, they serve food on the plane these days. It's a new thing. Really? <laughs> I miss you. Ha, 
that way. Sherpa. I need a Sherpa. <laughs> Bye. Drive See you soon, I hope. Okay. Mom, I don't think there'll be any eligible men there. It's a bachelorette party. Yeah, I, no, she's getting married in a couple of days. I know, I can't believe it. I mean, five months ago she hated men. Now she's uh, marrying a foreigner. <laughs> yes, it could even happen to me, Mother. Okay, Mom, bye. This way for life. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Our cheeks are melted. What are you wearing to my wedding? What are you wearing to your wedding? It's the bathing suit. <laughs> yeah. We're getting married underwater. <laughs> Mom was here for an entire weekend. Yes. She gets and in. She gets in. What is that glow on your face? Here. <laughs> I'm gonna lie. <laughs> <Jay>. <laughs> Music bothering you? No, not at all. It's actually uh, it's very pleasant. It's bothering me a little. <laughs> she likes music for my generation. I know, I know. I'm not crazy about it. Look at those girls. Do you remember Race at five? Five months ago? She yeah, was I know. Feeling dumped. She does look great too. A lot happier. <laughs> Life amazing. Yeah, it is. I wonder though sometimes if maybe it would have been better for her to find happiness by herself first. But then different, you know, well, different think... people have different ways of dealing with that stuff. Oh, apparently she's found a great guy. How about you? I feel dumped. I feel completely betrayed. Yeah. Confusion I never thought in my lifetime I would ever have to deal with. I just, I, I had heard that, you know, about what you did for that girl, you know? I got in trouble with the birth control, but I was right. Have, you were I right. I have to believe that I was right. Excuse me. Oh, I, wonder. I wonder who it could be. I don't know. Hi. Hi, handsome. <laughs> How's it hanging? <laughs> I'd love to talk to you, Nat. Do you have a second? Yeah. You know I'm making a movie? Yeah, it sounds great. It's a 
documentary on homeless women. Yeah. She seemed distraught and depressed, and I was concerned. And she came to me, and, uh... I think she terminated her pregnancy, and, uh... I, um... I was asked to take a retreat, and that means basically to mm -hmm. consider leaving the church. Mm -hmm. I... I offended uh, Mother Superior, and um, I have no idea where I'm supposed to go with this particular mm -hmm. point in my life. What was so amazing to me, though, was that I thought, I'll never get funding for this. Nobody's ever going to put up money to do this kind of documentary. I mean, right, it's right. too sad. It's too tragic. And I called this guy in Chicago that I knew, a businessman. And, you know, I'd known him over the years and uh, told him that I was no longer, you know, being a film critic and that I wanted to, to make a film. And he said, I'll take a chance. I'm Just out of the blue. I'll take a chance. I'm doing it. I mean, I feel... I feel connected to something, you know? I mean, uh, it's one thing to talk about movies, to talk about fantasy. It's another thing to do something that you feel is connected to what's happening mm. in the world. It feels it has such meaning, I mean, such... So maybe losing my job was the best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> well, I have some very good news, too. Yeah. We're pregnant. Really? <laughs> yes. Oh my God. I, I didn't even know you guys were trying. It was a very long path and um, we ended up getting into counseling and out of what came out in that, a lot of changes happened and wow. we really, really changed the marriage. and. Oh. Have a baby. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. David must be... He must be so happy. This wow. really will be a fruit of our hard labor. <laughs> <laughs> a baby David. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's a frightening thought. Yeah. So, I wanted to tell you before I told the others, so nobody else knows. Let's go tell him. Yeah? Let's go tell him! That's great! <laughs> That's great. That's great. Yeah. So, how about that, huh? How about that? You okay? No, damn it, I'm hungry. Well, I don't cook anymore. Well, so. what are we gonna eat? I got a drawer full of takeout. What do you want? Pizza? Chinese? Mexican? Pizza. <laughs> were riding so high. You never thought you'd get him into it. No. It's a lot of hard work, I'll tell you. You like the napkins, the different napkins? You got the 40th birthday. I'll tell you what's happening to you. You're falling apart or you're loosening up. Thanksgiving. <laughs> really loosening up I'm now. loosening up. Have you and Bob ever thought about going to therapy? Bob? <laughs> no. Bob telling all? Mm -hmm. You can tell when something is dead. I mean, it's just, it's dead behind the eyes when we look at each other. It's just gone, you know? It's, there was a time when we, 
when I used to be really angry, I used to fight with him and I'd shake him and I'd hit him and I'd scream at him and I'd say, how dare you do this to me? Mm. And he would say, you, I'm not doing this to you. This isn't about you. Don't be so egocentric. This is my problem. And I would say, your problem, this is my fucking marriage. You know, but after you go through that a number of times, you just stop doing it because it just isn't worth it. And uh, I gave up. And I just decided this is what life was, you know, and uh, when you get over 40, uh, women become anonymous anyway. Men don't look at them, and oh, what's no. a big deal? And I'll pour myself into my kids and my teaching, and, you know, I'll be fine. And it wasn't until I met this man who looks at me with these eyes that are so kind and loving and make me feel so beautiful that I thought this could happen, you know, to me. I think that every woman who watched that has had an experience of harassment in her own life. I watched those hearings in shock. I mean, I was in shock too. As a woman, I felt like I was. And does and does a great the great imitation of Orrin Hatch at the time of hearing. No, I don't. We're talking about the Thomas Hill hearings and Orrin Hatch with the Exorcist quoting. Mother was gorgeous here. Million dollars, but no, Jake is a million dollars. Just like, like Jake. Just like Jake. Chris, 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 this kid is 20 well, years old. Well, Did you guys order well, sausage well, on the pizza? Look at that. I know. Hi, Christopher. Hi. You want your job? Oh, good, arms. there's plenty of meat on there. There's her bachelorette boxes party. Upstairs. Who put that pubic hair on the pizza? Oh! Yeah. Oh. Did you put that on there? I apologize. Oh, my God. My friends are so Well, here, crass. whoever doesn't like That's it can just take off the pubic hair. slave all day over this hot pie. We have some videos you might be interested in. Hey, Chris, did you come along? Hi, Bob. What? You're... I've got your golf clubs. Did you know that pizza is a perfect food? It's got Bob all the seven. Bob lost his balls. balls. <laughs> Come on in. Uh, I'll get the money, OK? I've got my purse up. Yeah. I can't talk right now. We're sexually harassing the pizza Don't man. Worry, <laughs> really I logged on. So it's 35? Here's money for the pizza. And here's your tip.
Yeah. She did yes. that for us. Yes. Yeah, that was Please. They're playing cards. <laughs> We're not impressed. Well, it's not and as destructive I, as a lot of other things yeah, you could be doing. I, it's I understand. I absolutely it's understand. It's great for him, too. <laughs> Maggie, why if men want to get laid, is it okay? But because it's a woman, it's like, oh, she's degrading herself. If a guy wants to go get fucked, he goes out, he, like, gets laid, and he's a, he's applauded by his friends. With a woman, it's all of a sudden because like I a Because I think she's of... into real choice now about who she wants to have union with. But I, I understand what she's doing. I don't think she's gonna like herself. I don't know. That's my worry. It's not. She's not gonna she feel can, good. She's in so much pain. Who's to say that? Like you were just saying that just because she's having this affair that's gonna last no more than an hour and a half, she doesn't like herself. Because she Thank did you, that already. Well, she did that already twenty years so ago. She's no, doing it again. again. She's doing it again. You don't want to saw yourself. If everything off, we did in life was so calculated, it would be boring. Let's just say I hope he was good. <laughs> yeah, good kiss. It was a good kiss. Men don't realize how much women like love it. Oh. Hey guys, this friend of mine who's doing her graduate work and getting her degree in psychology gave me this questionnaire in one of her classes. It's really interesting and they're very provocative questions. Yeah, we'll be the judge. Here's the that. first one. What is the one thing that you would like to say but can't to your mother? My mother. My mother. My mother. No, no, no. She can't even say the M word. Lizzie. My mother. My mother. It's also, it could be to your husband, significant other. Hi, guys. Hi. You're such a Hi. drama queen. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Where is he? He's off delivering somewhere else, I guess. <sighs> well, he's such a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> so was it was it was it good? I mean, did you enjoy how, it? How was he? Okay, wait, now there, you know, there are three different types of uh, penis heads. <laughs> no, I don't know, know if you there are clinical that. names. Yes. <laughs> the first is the bottle cap. <laughs> Go tiger. The second is the blunt. <laughs> and the third is the prow. What, what? Why? Why? Which of these three was, uh, was the pizza boy? What is the prow? <laughs> Blunt. Uh, blunt. Blunt. Yeah. Blunt. Yeah. That's disappointing. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. It's kind of average. Yeah. It's a little disappointing. Um, I think the prow sounds kind of interesting. <laughs> the prow is the least attractive of all of them well, oh. it's because it's sort of like prowish. What That's shape's a prow? A prow is like, imagine the word prow. 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 It, it fits your tongue. It like, fits into that little thing. You know. Right on. Oh. Right. <laughs> Next. Next What's question. the best thing about being a woman? Oh. Having a baby. Having a clitoral orgasm. Right up there. <laughs> Not bad. Who is this course. person sitting next to me? I don't recognize her. <laughs> this person who just started having one. That's right. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. A literal orgasm and, and a vaginal, vaginal orgasm. orgasm. That's all bullshit. Girl. An orgasm Girl. is whatever. An orgasm. Oh, no. No, no, no. Absolutely. Okay, There's... Val, what's the difference? It's more. What's more? The, the clitoral orgasm is more your own. I don't get that. The clitoris is a small little listen, piece of your body. The vagina is a now. huger part. They, they have, have shown now in studies that a woman cannot have an orgasm without having clitoral stimulation. Yeah, I'm they're not saying that the, that the whole thing isn't wonderful and that the big one isn't great too, but there's something very... Really Wait a minute. Really there's a big one and a little one? <laughs> no. What really is it? Does anyone know the difference? Has anybody ever had a bad orgasm? No. A what kind? Yes, a bad orgasm. Are you kidding? All right, are you obsessing about something today? Mm. <laughs> yes. Right. Are you are? You are? What yeah. are you obsessing about? Um. um Come on, Liz. Person. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Wait a minute, I've been 
asking Ooh. this for months. <laughs> <laughs> I'm obsessing about um, I'm obsessing about Anne. What am I obsessing about? About this Anne? Really? How are you obsessing about her? I'm wishing that you were more adventurous. No. She's the person of my dreams. She's my dream person. You mean sexually? I mean, every way, every way. Liz, you love her. Really? I'm in love with her, yeah. Oh, it's okay. Really? Did you know about this, Anne? Yeah. I think it's it's beautiful to have feelings of love for someone. It's important that Liz uh, say this. Uh, Don't you, Val? I'm working on it. It's not an, it's not a new thing. It's a new thing since it's a it was it's new that I feel like I'm, I'm really in love with somebody, you know, since I met her. But it's not new. I mean, I didn't get crushes on boys. I got crushes on girls. <laughs> really? Since you were a kid? Yeah. I know you did get crushes on girls. You did? I did. Mm, but I didn't think it was. Well, we all was got just crushes on girls. Did, yeah. did you ever? Did you ever um, act on them? Yeah. I did. Hmm. Does Anne feel the same? Or do you feel the same now? Um, that's really between Liz and I. I still, I'm happy she told you. Oh, oh. oh what freedom. Huh? You're shaking. I, I don't want you all to feel like, you know, you gotta, like, Pull up your bathing suit and get out of the hot tub. Or anything. You're beautiful, Lizzie. Mm. Like that? I used to have such little teeth. I can't <laughs> believe it. <laughs> Where do these non sequiturs come from? I used to have such little teeth. I babysat you. I know. That's what happened. No. That's where it started. <laughs> so, did you hear the one about the two dykes in the hot tub?
we celebrate the new soul that lives inside Hannah. See? You wake? Mm -hmm. Can I talk to you for a second? Uh huh. I want to, um, I just wanted to tell you something. Which is that I um, am I'm not going to run away from you anymore. I know that I um, I, I've I've been running away from this thing that you told me today. I think for a while because I didn't know how to fix it. You know, you know me. I like to fix everything. Mm -hmm. Do you think that? This is something about me that needs to be fixed. No, I mean, I... It confuses me, you know? Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, I always do things a certain way, you know? Yeah, I don't know how I feel about it. I've, um... I, th I think I've kind of known about it for a while, you know? I think I've kind of suspected it and stuff. And I didn't want to talk about it or anything because I was scared of it. And I still am. But um, I'm going to try to just listen to you. Let you tell me what you need to tell me. Because you're probably going to have to tell somebody some stuff, right? No, I can't. I, I can't tell. I can't tell my. I can't tell mom and dad. No. So I really need you to tell me. It's all right. <laughs> Boy, mom would really. I bet you've gone over that. That scene a couple of times. You must be so scared. Are you scared? Um, no, no, because I know it's, it's just, just the way, it's the way things that are, you know. I've always worried about you that, that you wouldn't be happy. I didn't see that you could be happy very easily. I'm, <laughs> it's happy anyway, but. Really beautiful like you are and really sort of perfect like you are and married like you did and have kids like you did and everything like you did mm -hmm. but I just can't you're so beautiful you still love me about as much as I could ever love anybody <laughs> to my family Rub my head like you did nice little. Okay, okay. And tell me, tell me, tell me things. So once there was a beautiful princess, and she lived in a beautiful castle, and there were flowers all around her, and birds. 
and singing. They say pure sound made the earth. That's the best way to be. In the Eastern culture, that's what you try the best to attain. Disconnected from all this beauty. It's the beginning of faith. This is the beginning of faith, not the end of faith. Beginning of faith. I think so. Is she driving up? No, David's gonna drive her up and uh, then he'll just wait down at the hotel till she calls. Hello? Oh, hi. Hi. There's the baby. It's okay. I'm late. The baby's late. Runs in the family. I wasn't gonna say it. <laughs> This buddy's trying to drink it. Oh. <laughs> you okay there? 
want some more pillows? Yeah. 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 Thank you. Oh. Thank <laughs> 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 you. Uh -huh. Liz? Sweetheart? And water? Yeah. Mm. Should we uh, do a... this or? You want to wait a little while? Just give me a second. I'm not sure I can do it. Oh, you can. Oh, I'm not sure I can. Look, we have to do this. I can't breathe. guys I know that you're watching this all together and boy <laughs> I really wish I could be there with you um, I'm with you in spirit unfortunately this is the only way I can be with you right now um, by now you all know that I found out that I have cancer and that there's really nothing they can do at this point. Um, I told you all I was going on vacation and I am. It's gorgeous here. Unfortunately, it's going to be a long vacation, but uh, this is a decision I feel very good about. I decided that I'm going to end my life. I'm starting to have pain, and I've never been good with pain. And I found a doctor who assures me that this way will be painless and complete. So, I guess this is the way I say goodbye. I mean, I resented turning 40, and it's odd to me that I probably am not going to be past 40, but on the good side, I won't have to get a facelift, and I won't have to worry about getting old, which was not something that I looked forward to. Um, so I'm actually feeling pretty good about this decision. I'm feeling, I'm feeling pretty complete. Um, the last five months have been interesting. I, I know that I've, I've hidden this from you guys, except for Maggie. Um, but I didn't want to burden you with this. I didn't want to be put on machines. I didn't want to have to go through a lot of bullshit. So I think this is the best way. I really do. How to start. I guess I have to start with Val. Because um, I've known you the longest. Yeah, I know I'd quit, but at this point... <laughs> Damn cigarettes. <laughs> and that I couldn't share this with you, but as long as I've known you, you've taken on the burden of everybody else's problems, and I knew you would take this on you, and I really don't want you to do that. I mean, I remember when we were seven years old, and we decided to give each other haircuts, and I decided to cut bangs for you, and your mother was so pissed off at me, and you took the blame. You said it was your idea. 
I want you to finally tell your mother that it was my idea. You know, you beat yourself up a lot about the fact that you spend your life facilitating for other people and helping other people, but you have helped me and been there for me and saved me in times when I when I probably wouldn't have gotten out of it without you. And I love you. I love you too. And I'll miss you wherever I am because you've always been my rock and my, my other half. Lizzie. Oh, Lizard. I remember you when you were born. <laughs> and I remember when we named you Lizard. Because you looked like one. I wanted to dress you up and put you in my doll carriage and wheel you around. And I did. <laughs> and you survived. And I know that there are parts of your life that are hard, but you have friends and you have people who love you and love you just the way you are and everything about you. <laughs> Hannah. In some ways, this is the hardest one for me because I won't get to see your baby. And I really wanted to see her. And I know it's going to be a girl. If it's a girl, you got to name her Natalie. No, that would make David crazy. David's going to be mad because I didn't call him and talk to him about this, but I want you to tell him We had 10 years that were, that are very much a part of me. <laughs> Ray. <laughs> Aza. I know you were always jealous of me. You always thought I had everything. The truth is, you have everything. You've got Mimi. You've got Patrick. And I always envied you your anger and your passion. You've got to take that anger, that incredible anger you have, and use it. And you know how to use it. And I haven't known you for a long time. And I know you've always felt sort of like the odd man out, but you fit in with us. You have a, you have an eye, you have an observation of us that I think is real healthy. And that's why I wanted you to put together the film that you guys are going to see at the end of this. It's sort of my last present to you. And I know I told you it was for a special occasion, and I couldn't really tell you what the occasion was. But I think it is special. Maggie, I want to thank you for what you've given me. You reconnected me to the fact that all of life is a whole, and you made me less afraid of death. You help me accept that.
I'm losing the light. Wow. This is hard. I have so much I want to say to you. And uh, I know you have so much you want to say to me. So look around at each other. And think about what you want to say to each other because it goes really fast. And then it's gone. I love you. I miss you. Whether you like it or not, you're part of us, and we love you, and there's nothing you can do about that. We will, no matter what you do. <laughs> I'm really scared, and I really need to know that everybody's always going to be there, no matter what, no matter who leaves or disappears, that all the rest of us are always going to be here, so no one's ever going to have to be alone. And I felt so... Apart from all of you. And I wanted to punish you for that. And I didn't know if I'd ever, ever hear some voice from God. And tonight I did. Oh. And it's that we're all one. We're really just all one. It's so simple. <laughs> I'm too wiped out to give messages to everybody. <laughs> but, but my baby, David, and I already talked about this then. Our baby will be called Nat. Nathaniel if it's a boy. <laughs> and Natalie if it's a girl. And I think it's gonna be a girl. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>